Here it is, uh, night before opening day of turkey season. First season here in Illinois, in the North Zone. Got some guys that have already put some birds down on the team. We'll get, I'm up here tonight uh, trying to roost some birds and get a ground blind set. In this spot right here, my daughter shot a long beard right there last year during youth season, and they love this field. I don't think we'll hear much gobbling tonight, Beans, it's snowing, a rain-snow mix here on uh, opening night eve, which I've never seen in my life before. So they may be pretty silent, but we're right where they want to be. So we'll see what happens. Let's get this blind up and listen, see if we can pinpoint one. Well, this morning's hunt didn't uh, pan out how we uh, had hoped it would on uh, opening day of Illinois first season. Woke up to uh, 28 degrees, feels like 20, and snow all over the ground. So uh, I went to work by about 7.30, and uh, tomorrow morning, uh, Tuesday, second day of second season, is looking a lot better. We got virtually no wind tomorrow morning, so uh, and uh, looks like about 38 degrees to start. A little chilly, but definitely that no wind is going to get them gobbling uh, Hopefully we can get it done in the morning. All right, guys. Second morning here in Illinois, first season. <clears throat> got in here a little bit late, but I got one goblin, maybe 70 yards from here and a bunch over the hill. There you heard him. My hopes are is that he'll come out to this field, see the decoys, and it'll be a done deal, but I just hope I didn't get in here too late. And he's seen me put the decoys out. He's still got one real good, so fingers crossed, man. I'm not gonna call to him till he hits the ground. So we'll see what happens. One of the main things I worry about when uh, bow hunting turkeys is decoy placement. I use a bedded hen and I make sure I put her facing straight at me or straight away from me. That way when that gobbler comes in to get on top of her, I got that straight on right above the beard shot or right at the base of the tail fan. And I also want a big gaping hole when I'm shooting a turkey with a bow and these G5 dead meats really put a nice wound channel on a turkey and they don't go very far. It works phenomenal.
thing to remember here in Illinois. That was one of the most awesome turkey hunts I've ever had. I've killed a lot of turkeys with a bow, but I've never had them come in and just beat the tar out of that jake like that, and it was awesome. Most of the time, I never let them get that far. Still got a long beard gobbling behind me trying to let them get out of here. Got nine jakes out in the field, so next year's looking pretty good for long beards, but uh, we got one down here in Illinois first season. I didn't know how it was gonna go with this uh, weather, but we got it done. Well guys, as you can see, had a uh, day to remember here in Illinois. Had an awesome hunt this morning. Had uh, long beards firing off all around us. Couldn't get them to come in. Finally, they hit the field, seen this uh, Jake decoy out here and just came in and blistered him. Awesome hunt. I was really impressed with the G5 dead meat. Really did a trick on him. He didn't go five feet. Not a bad way to start the season here. First season in Illinois. 2018 we're gonna get a tag on him and get him out of here serious land managers do everything they can to grow and harvest the biggest bucks possible maximizing herd health is part of any good management plan real world's exclusive expect healthy deer technology is a true game changer developed by professional animal nutritionists working with captive deer breeders expect healthy deer technology can help your herd by enhancing the immune system repelling insects improving survival from disease outbreaks this is going to lead to increased fawn production and antler growth on your property. To learn more, you can visit realworldwildlifeproducts.com.